Give to the world the best you have and the best will come back to you. Yes. If you really want something best in your life, you should know how to give best to others. Hello everyone, I'm Manju and you're watching Spectacular Spoken English with Manju. In the previous session, we discussed some sentences which were related to our day-to-day -day life. So today also, we are going to look at some more expressions which are related to our daily chores. So today's first sentence is, wake up children, get off the bed and brush your teeth properly. Now here, if you see this first sentence sentence is from the previous video. Wake up children, you're getting late for school. This was the sentence. Now how to modify the sentences? If you are well versed with this sentence, wake up children, you are getting late for school. So you just now modify it in a different way. Wake up children, get off the bed. Here you can stop the sentence. It's not necessary that you have to go on with brush your teeth properly also. Wake up children, get off the bed. That's it. Then after some time, once they are out of the bed, you can say, brush your teeth properly. Or else, at a stretch also you can say the sentence. Wake up children, get off the bed and brush your teeth properly. It is properly. All right. So in this way, you can start the day with these type of instructions. All three sentences are merged together here. So you can break it in three different sentences. That would do. Wake up children. You can give a pause. Get off the bed. Brush your teeth properly. This is also correct. In this way also you can speak. Main thing is you must speak. That is more important. All right. Let's see the next sentence. Take your shower. Take your shower. That means take bath. So now this take bath is a very old way of saying. All right. Let's change the pattern. So it would be take your shower, brush your teeth and take your shower. That is also correct. You can merge the third sentence with this sentence also. So it's up to you how you innovate the sentences in your way. Brush your teeth properly and take your shower. This is also correct. Or directly you can say, take your shower. That is also right. That means take bath. Then. Now you are in the kitchen. You are going to prepare something. Or else you are in your drawing room. You are sitting, you are watching TV, something like this. You can ask the family members, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Do you want to have food? So how to respond to the question? If the question is asked, are you hungry? The listener should say, yes, I am. Or no, I am not. You need not to say, yes, I am hungry. Not required. It is understood that you are answering to the question, are you hungry? So when you say, yes, I am hungry, or else, no, I am not hungry, it sounds weird. It sounds very awkward. So in terms of speaking, you need not to say complete sentences. All right? So are you hungry? Yes, I am. That means, yes, I am hungry. It is understood. Or else, no, I am not. All right? Are you hungry? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Now, 
are you thirsty you want to ask the person whether he would like to have a glass of water you can ask would you like to have a glass of water instead of asking such a long sentence you can ask are you thirsty now same way to respond yes i am now here that means yes i am thirsty the answer is relevant to the question are you thirsty yes i am are you thirsty no i am not that means it is understood no i am not thirsty all right so instead of asking question would you like to have a glass of water directly you can shorten the sentence and you can say are you thirsty like this so this is again a very good way of asking question now you have asked are you hungry you will get a response yes i am you can shoot the next question as what do you want to eat are you hungry yes i am shoot the next one what do you want to eat the listener would say i would like to have biryani or i would like to have pudding or else i would like to have smoothie or else directly he can answer what do you want to eat i want to eat biryani i want to eat pudding i want to eat smoothie whichever so what do you want to eat so you can ask in continuation with these questions that are you hungry are you thirsty or instead of asking are you hungry yes i am what do you want to eat so this looks in continuation with the previous sentence all right so these are the ways to ask question in your daily life all right let's see some more expressions now comb your hair this is again a very common sentence that we use if you happen to see the family member looking very shabby very unorganized you can say comb your hair you look very shabby so that is again a very good way of uh, conversing with the people or conversing with your family members or with your relatives or with your neighbors in that way all right comb your hair now here if you see it is keep the things properly don't mess up you can manage with the sentence keep the things properly but in order to add flavor to the sentence it would be really beautiful if you say don't mess up don't mess up keep the things properly don't mess up this is just an order so mothers can use this sentence uh, children can also use uh, this sentence uh, to their brothers or sisters their siblings right even they can ask any family member if you have organized your table uh, you can just give an instruction keep the things properly don't mess up right so this is a common sentence which can be used by everyone then are you ready for the school are you ready for the office are you ready for the clinic yes i am response would be always yes i am no i am not no need to say the complete sentence yes i am ready for the school or yes i am ready for the office it's not required all right directly you say yes i am are you ready for the school are you ready for the office yes i am no i am not so this is again a type of conversation please stand still let me take your photograph now children are ready to go to school they have time still they have 5 minutes mothers can say or parents can say please stand still let me take your photograph you look very handsome today you look very beautiful today like this also you can say let me take your photograph if you are not comfortable with please stand still 
directly you can see let me take your photograph stand still stand properly let me take your photograph like this all right so once the person is ready he is in a very good attire you can see please stand still let me take your photograph like this all right so this is again uh, one expression now the person is well dressed looking very smart so again compliment the person compliment your colleague compliment your family member compliment your children when the child is going to school with a very good or clean uniform you can say oh you look awesome you look awesome you look great you look mesmerizing so awesome you look great you look mesmerizing these words these adjectives you can use for anyone it's for both for male and female but when you say oh you look dashing now this dashing word is specially meant for male not for female you can't compliment female like you look dashing it looks awkward you can, in order to compliment female you look gorgeous you look beautiful now beautiful is again a very uh, old way of complimenting so let's come out of it let's say you look gorgeous you can say you look mesmerizing you look lovely you look smart you look attractive so these are some of the words which you can compliment each other using these words the person will feel better so that's the thing that you should appreciate each other so that gives a very nice feeling so you look awesome awesome for everyone both for male and female you can use you look dashing for male you look gorgeous for females all right yes then finish your work finish your homework finish your task you can use task also finish your work finish your task yes by the end of the day you can just instruct your children even children can instruct their parents also finish your task all right uh, mama finish your task quickly finish your work quickly like this all right so finish your work now the day is about to end last instruction switch the lights off and go to bed switch the lights off and go to bed or directly go to bed finish your work and go to bed you can club these two sentences again finish your work and go to bed perfect switch the lights off and go to bed finish your work and go to bed at the end you can just add switch the lights off before you sleep simple yes so these are some of the expressions which you can use with your family members with your friends your siblings your neighbors um anywhere you can use these sentences wherever it suits as for the situation use this sentence and be an expert again the same thing same thing continuously you have to listen a lot then read a lot then speak a lot very important and practice all these sentences watch other videos also practice it stand in front of the mirror be very confident and speak stand in front of the mirror and speak that is the best way of practicing all right next time i'll be with some more lesson some new topics until then goodbye take care